Believe it or not, it's been almost two and a half years since we started constructing my electric military Humvee. She has an electric motor underneath the hood, as well as 90 kilowatt hours worth of Tesla batteries in the two back seats. She's drivable now, we have taken her off road, but I think it's high time we close her up with a slant back top and maybe add some doors, as well as talk about how much this whole project cost me. This is one video my wife is not allowed to watch. As of this moment in time, I have not yet done the math, but I have a suspicious feeling that my homemade EV Humvee cost more than a Cybertruck. Worth it no matter the outcome, of course, but still something to think about. When I first started this EV Humvee project, I imagined it turning into more of a two-door extended cab truck with a larger bed, which is the same design that I put on the back of my shirts. But now that we're in it this deep, I think it's a much better idea to seal off the battery packs and protect them from weather as much as possible. Keeping them separate from liquid is a very good idea. That means, however, that I need to change the shirt design to reflect the new shape of the truck. This is the last time version 1 shirts will ever be sold, just $14.99. And remember, shipping for small businesses like mine can be made easy with today's sponsor, Stamps.com. Stamps.com gives crazy shipping discounts of up to 89% off USPS and UPS services. They've been helping over 1 million businesses like mine save time and money for the last 25 years. Time is money, and standing in line is one of my least favorite expenses. But with Stamps.com, all you need to ship stuff online is a computer and a printer. And with a four-week trial, they'll even send a free scale. You can schedule pickups through the Stamps.com dashboard or take care of orders on the mobile app, all with no lines and no waiting and no long-term commitments or contracts. Stamps.com integrates with every major marketplace and shopping cart. To get your four-week trial, free postage, and free digital scale, just go to Stamps.com slash jerryrig. And I'll get back to shipping the remainder of these exclusive classics after I finish adding up all my expenses. <laughs> Getting the old steel military roof off and installing the new bolt-on slant backtop with its built-in B and C pillar roll bar took about two days. I bought it from a local company here in Utah called Alpha Customs. Kind of expensive, but I'll tack that cost to the end of the list. Nice. My military Humvee previously had a turret installed which means a giant hole was cut out of the steel ceiling. Look at that, slice clean open. I don't know if this Humvee ever saw battle, but it looks pretty hammered. We temporarily patched that turret hole with a circle of aluminum when I got the Humvee, but one thing that was unfixable was that the military guy snapped the B-pillar roll bar completely in half to install that turret. This is a roll bar for that pillar there. We're also missing the C-pillar and the whole rear back panel, which makes this truck extremely unsafe in a rollover. The new slant back top fixes that though, it's made from aluminum and is based off the original slant back H1 Hummer design. It'll provide a watertight enclosure for the cab while still allowing me some enclosed bed space, just like the Cybertruck. It'll provide weather protection for both me and the batteries since the batteries are one of the more expensive parts of this build. The 18 battery modules we salvaged from the Tesla battery packs cost me $18,529 two and a half years ago. Used battery prices have fallen substantially since then, which is good news for anyone else attempting an EV conversion. The Tesla BMS boards to take control of those batteries was 448 bucks, and the Orion battery management system was 2128. The most expensive part of the build is the motor and drivetrain. A brand new UQM220 Plus inverter and motor cost me $25,000 and the VCU that drives the motor is 850. The Torque Trends Torque Box that geared my top speed correctly was 4,595, and the Atlas Transfer Case, which gives me four-wheel drive, cost me 4,021. Custom drive shafts was around 700 bucks, and the wheels and tires came mounted and balanced for 2,639 from Trail Built Off-Road. The braking system was taken from a Tesla Model S, Wiring harness was 250, and the brake eye booster was 461, off of eBay. Oh my gosh, that's way lighter than that. Yeah. The electronic steering assist from Unisteer was 1,500 bucks. Onboard charger was 1,600, and the display screen was 682. With a plethora of other high voltage parts that were each in the few hundred dollar range. Once you bump out of the 12 volt realm, everything just increases in cost exponentially. 
The custom radiator and cooling system for the batteries and motor was 2,363, and I can't forget the Humvee donor body, very important, at $17,000. It did work when I first bought it. There was the differential that we broke at 895, and the high capacity airlift towing bumper at 1,142. Jeez, that is strong. And finally, this rather exquisite looking slant back top from Alpha Customs was 12,500. It really does complete the whole build though, and I'm a massive fan of how it looks. I know some of you were waiting for me to add it all up and just give you a total since this is the internet, and I'm sure someone's already figured out that I could have bought a Corvette and a Prius for the same amount of money, or 58,000 avocados. But before I drop the total, just know that the time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. And if I had the choice, I'd still do it all over again, and probably will someday. The final number is $100,976, which is just a few bucks more than a maxed out Cybertruck. And that is not including the three trillion man hours worth of research and labor that went into assembling this thing that is incalculable. But also invaluable since I learned so much doing this project, it is 100% worth it. And all said and done, currently H1 Alphas, which have about the same power as my electric Humvee, are selling for around a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars. So this still has value and I don't think I've made too poor of a decision converting this Humvee to electric. A few people have asked if I would ever sell this thing and the answer to that is definitely not unless Dwayne The Rock Johnson wants to add it to his garage I might make an exception. Keep in mind though that I'm in a unique place that by filming this project and making a 30 video series I've managed to pay for the whole thing and still provide funds for my wheelchair manufacturing business which is the ultimate goal. I still plan on painting it, fleshing out the interior and adding solar panels to the top. And I'm also going to take this Humvee and the Cybertruck on a little off-roading adventure side by side like the true friends they are. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I know I say it a lot, but I really mean it. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you around.